Hello and welcome to What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. In addition, Pristine offers free webinars each and every single week. You can check out the full list, the full schedule at www.pristine.com. But for this week, we've got starting with today, Monday, March 21st at 4.15, a day in the life of a Forex trader, which will be presented by yours truly. We then also have uh, webinars on Wednesday the 23rd as well as the following Monday, March 28th with Greg Capra. So if any of those sound interesting to you, make sure you go to pristine.com and register. And also, as I said, you can check out the full list of upcoming webinars throughout the remainder of this month and into uh, April. So with that being said, let's take a look at where things are at as we head into this new shortened week. Um, We've got Euro US dollar in the upper left. And as you can see, it's kind of just grinding its way higher back into this prior high. So we'll see if it if it creates a higher low here and can start to eventually push up through that reference point. Or does this become a double top and we begin to roll over, pushing back towards lower levels? At this point, buyers are in control you know but we we want to look at the larger time frame that's going to help guide the bias and the weekly chart as you can see has got a pretty a pretty significant area of congestion here so not going to be necessarily an easy area to get through it may just take this continued kind of grind higher to absorb the supply to the left so all in all not not the most picture perfect environment for uh, trending behavior but hey you know it, it could continue to slowly work its way higher so focus on those intraday trends moving on over to Aussie dollar US dollar this one continues to slowly but surely track higher in last week's video we spoke about how this pullback was coming into support and we wanted to be watching for it to turn and turn it did pushing up even a little bit higher and, you know, again, this one also kind of just grinding its way up. So we have to respect the daily trend, the daily uptrend in this case, and look to buy pullbacks into support. New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar, this one, uh, again, we spoke about in last week's video in that it was really quite sloppy. And the best thing to do was to play the top and the bottom of the range until we broke one way or the other. And uh, towards the end of... Or, or beginning part of last week, um, it did break out, it poked above, and then came back in. So, you know, the question now is, can it form a higher low in this area of support, or does it fall all the way back down and just continue to whip around? So, for that reason, there, there's really no strong daily bias. It's really going to be more of a an intraday trend kind of bias that, that I will go with. So, in other words, if the trend is up, on the intraday chart, 60 minute chart, for example, I'll look to get long. If it rolls over and has room to fall, then I'll look to play it short. So I really don't have a strong bias one way or the other. Moving on down to US dollar yen in the bottom right, this one has fallen into support into these lows and it's actually trying to move higher here right now. There is there is a little bit of a breakout going on off the 60 minute chart. We'll see if that get some additional upside to it but really i mean we're going sideways here within a downtrend and looking at the weekly chart it, it doesn't seem as though there's any reason for this to stop moving lower so uh short term bullish if you're just trying to capture the intraday trend but bigger picture here uh I'm going to be looking for sellers to drive it back down. So if you are looking to get long intraday, you should really keep a tight leash on it, not really looking to overstay the welcome. And uh, that is because, again, the larger time frames are more bearish. So I, I will be looking for, in terms of a more substantial move, trying to find a place to get short for a move down.
U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar. This one's been trending lower. Right? And, you know, I've mentioned in previous videos it's into this support area, but it really can't find any any solid ground. It can't find any solid footing here. So uh, as this continues to fall, we'll just have to continue going with that trend. Uh, I haven't really seen the the greatest in terms of daily setups. I mean, this breakdown was was nice, but other than that, it's really just been a bleed lower. So finding resistance to get in off of intraday time frames has really been the best course of action and then just riding it down uh, so that really continues to be the same bias unless we get back up over this resistance here there's no reason in my opinion to be thinking long-term bullish uh, you know you might get over some intraday resistance which in that case you could look to scalp it long but if it can get over this area here that's when you really start to think hey this this trend is changing and finally pound us dollar this one again like euro us dollar is pretty sloppy overall uh grinding its way up into this resistance and at this point we'll just have to see can it continue to hold as it dips into support or is it going to fall from this area back down towards lower levels maybe retest this bottoming tail or even lower so uh Again, the landscape overall is not the clearest as far as having a real strong directional bias. Uh, your U.S. dollar yen seems to have one of the, the, the clearest and most uh, decisive trends overall based on the larger time frame. Both the daily and the weekly support lower movement. So that one may have the best opportunity in terms of longer term duration, but... Uh, all of these are setting up into some support or resistance levels, which could offer some some trades uh, on intraday opportunity. So that is the bias here for today. And as we head into this this week, uh, if you have any questions, you can type those into the comment section below or join me in the webinar that I have later this evening at 415. Love to have you there. But uh, in the meantime, make sure that you like and subscribe to this video and channel so that you can continue to receive future updates. But until the next time, stay patient, stay confident, and stay disciplined. We'll talk to you soon.